Obviously. If, if you guys don't know the Xeno special by now, Empanada Mama is insane. Empanada Mama is so good. But Wait, I can you eat the empanadas there? Yeah. Well, you said you were going off dairy. For now. But yeah. All right, let's get in okay. there. <laughs> we're in grands. <laughs> You're confusing me. I thought I knew about your life. All right. Anyway, um, yeah, so we actually have FD game one, which is the stage that we ended up going game four on? I believe game four was on this stage. I yeah. think both characters like the stage, to be honest. I think both characters like this stage. However, um, I believe it was Ling Ling's counter pick last time around. Uh, and Ling Ling did win, but it was very close. It was the game where basically having that stitch at the end really sealed the deal for him. Stitch is silly. What? Stitch is silly. Stitch is silly. Uh, I don't know, like, as far as it goes to have, like, oh, you know, RNG-based character in a fighting game, I think that it's fine. It's like, oh, I had, like, a 1 in 64 chance, or I think it's 1 in 32 in this game, uh, of getting a Stitch face. But, like, I have the Stitch now. If you're paying attention, you know I have the Stitch. You can play around the Stitch. It yeah. sucks that now you have to play around it. But, uh, you know, it doesn't break the game. It's not like, oh, I got F smashed at 20 with that. Yeah, Sinji has a commanding lead right now. I, I hope that, like, the rest of this set is as action-packed as, as this has been. This has been really fast-paced for these two characters. Oh, yeah. No, so Sinji was telling me that one of the things he wants to do more in this matchup is actually kind of brawl it out with Ling Ling. Be up in his face. Pac-Man definitely wins the frame data war. Uh, most of Peach's moves take a little bit more time to come out. And Pac-Man's moves, if you look at his frame data, it is actually ridiculously good. He can do two forward airs out of a short hop. Nair is frame three. I believe forward air is Yo, like frame that actually five. Slammed. Almost slammed. Four or five. Oh! <laughs> that was clean. Are you kidding what me? What was that conversion? <laughs> I also want to just point out how Sinji didn't even move. It's like he got stunned nah, and he's like, this is the best way he, to get he, to he, you. He, he knew exactly what was going on. He's like, yo, we saw this out that one time. We, we saved it in the back pocket. It's applying right now. See ya. <gasps> oh, yeah. Up smash from uh, Ling Ling. That's something that also I remember Ling Ling, uh, Sinji had said was had worked out really well for Ling Ling the last time they played. That's the first time I've really seen it, but... Uh, Ling loves his up smash, but he, he's gotten a lot of, like, roll reads off of that. And just, like, how you're trying to land callouts. But not only that, right there, you saw that he up smashed underneath the hydrant, and he just hands are intangible during the up smash, so it just straight up beat it out. Oh, he just kills the hydrant right off? That? Yeah, just killed the hydrant right oh, off. And sends it off at a very kind of awkward angle. PC Ninja Sync's F Smash angled up could do the same. Right. Sinji still in a pretty good position here. Okay. Hey, listen, if he did not go for up smash, that's because up smash would not have connected. Yeah, I don't think up smash would have connected there. I think he was a, a bit too high in the air. Yeah, Sinji knows the micro spacing of those sorts of things down to the pixel. Oh, I love the angling of the shield as you saw right there. That's something that you very rarely see players do in this game, but Sinji has been whittling down uh, Ling Ling's shield so reliably that he's kind of forced to do that. Yeah, up smash, up he smash. caught him out. You know that, that snake thing, don't tread on me? <laughs> like, get your stupid little feet off of me. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure the snake version of that is up tilt. Right? Yeah, yeah. The snake version uh -huh. of don't tread on me. Yep. As in, like, snake. Yeah, snake, it's not up, the snake. Up. It's just from disjointed up tilt. Yeah. <laughs> Where even if you're behind <laughs> just, him, just snake and there's cheeks. grenades, you know? It's normally, like, a segmented. Anyway, history jokes aside, let's get back to this game in which, oh, that's really big. One thing is that Ling Ling hasn't really had any huge plays, you know? He's been getting damage here and there, but he hasn't done any, you know, oh, 70% combos. A big part of that is because Sinji is aware of the That's potential there. That's because he hasn't there. pulled the stitch. Uh, I was just saying it. See, this is what happened. I just said literally something random and it happened. I was literally just going to say he hasn't gotten any 70% combos because he didn't pull stitch face, and then there it goes. The winky face. 
again. Winky Face breaks high entrance at zero. So that's a really important thing for Sinji to pull. Sorry, not Sinji, rather. Uh, Link. 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 Yeah, Sorry, he's like, I didn't mean to warble. If, if you had held that shield just a little bit longer, that would have been a nice, fat shield break. I don't know, that shield is still looking really tiny. Ling Ling is... Oh, speaking of tiny shields. <laughs> he's like, you want to break shields? I have something to break shield. <gasps> oh, no, he's shielded. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my Sinji has been goodness. getting fucked out by these... That oh, was... Oh my god. What is... That is like... You hate to see such, like... You know, it's one thing if, like, somebody's literally just beating up on some random, like, and you get something, like, cool that's a clip. But, like, when it's literally just, like, you know, nail biter on the edge, and you pull the... You just, you know, top deck the last piece of Exodia. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> That's rough. Oh my goodness. Alright. Well, since you gotta shake that off. Yep. Moving into game two here in Grand Finals. He needs to win two sets, but Ling Ling just has I mean he can win these next two games and end up winning uh pretty much the rest of the, the entire tournament. Yep. You know, one thing about the matchup between these two characters and these players also, stage matters so much. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's an advantage to one over the other. However, they have to change their game plan up based on oh, the absolutely. stage so reliably. A lot of characters, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what stage they go to. They just <laughs> play the way they <laughs> He's just floating over the mountain the whole time. <laughs> it was good on Sinji like, chasing with that. But yeah, as you were saying, you know, stage definitely makes a difference. You know, if we're on, if we're on a... Uh, on a longer stage on that thing, it, he would have been chasing for a lot longer, having to hold out on what he wanted to punish that float with. Yeah, goes for the future there. Uh, let's go out and buy Ling Ling a lotto ticket. Ling Ling really taking his time to stay on that, that platform Derek patiently, not going down when he's not comfortable. What? That Derek just beat out the bell? Yeah, that's something he's been doing very consistently. I, 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 Shy Guy thinks that it's almost guaranteed. I, I'm wondering whether there's like a slight gap in between the hits of Dare where Bell could actually yeah. connect. But based on the way that Ling Ling has been using it quite liberally, I think that probably Bear uh, down it straight up beats out. I think he thought his down. Oh, I thought he. I think he thought that his hit was gonna send the hydrant backwards. So the real reason I could see from hitting the hydrant there, unless he was covering roll, maybe. That's it. That's wow. gonna take it. Yep. Ha! Wow! Look at that. Did you notice the way that Sinji ran up and shielded and waited to see whether that second it was gonna connect. Oh, big forward air, but not big enough. Sinji hanging on by a thread here. Armor is through the turnip. Can he get some more damage? <laughs> it's like, like a genuine out. reaction, okay? It's like we out. <laughs> Yo, armor too good, man. All right, 30% extra credit on Ling. Not really. That's nothing amount. to call home about. But it does mean that Ling Ling is forced to approach. And... This is the type of matchup where timeouts can definitely happen. Yep. We, we've never seen a timeout between these two. Oh, wait. What? I'm, I'm kidding. We've what, seen what? many. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, that's so, I didn't know that Peach could do that. She could just float right over it. How many stitches has she got? What has Ling Ling's luck been like this, these games? And yeah. another dot eyes? Yeah, Sinji's like, Lady Luck ain't gonna be the reason I lose this game. Putting on heavy amounts of percent. Staying away from dot eyes, one shotting turnips. I am one shotting hydrants. Is that enough? Or are they gonna take it? That's a clean stock lead for Sinji. 
Yo, the bear train. Oh my god. Oh no. man. Not one out. whiff. That was 84%. He might even die here all because of one whiff. That was insane capitalization by Ling Ling. Jeez. Also, I think it's a testament to how patient Sinji has been playing up till that very point. Because Ling Ling always has the potential to do that. Yeah. Always. It's just that for the most part, Sinji's like that's the first time I saw him get hit by yeah, back yeah. air at that low. You know? Whenever he's getting hit, it's always by these, you know, oh I got you with a forward air because it reached over the projectile. Ooh. It shows you that top player knowledge to not like panic side B or panic jump to get hit by that fair. That would have closed out the stock immediately. <gasps> oh so tricky. That should be it. Oh. The lag on it, just a little bit too quick. Ling Ling yeah. doesn't actually get the grab. That delay on uh, on his up B there, coming back from ledge, actually almost cost him his life. He almost got turned up for it. Ooh. Sinji was like, you're in a neutral get up. I'm going to slap it with a for forward air. I mean, a forward smash. Just didn't happen this time, though. <laughs> I'm also liking this that Sinji's planking here now and oh. the bait! Dude, the bell went over him so it didn't proc the the counter. That was a solid two stock uh, by Yeah, that was a solid two stock and also that was absolutely like the bell I, I think he even knew that the counter wouldn't have hit it. Yeah, no, no, I think Sinji knew. But I, I think Ling Ling definitely thought the bell would have proc counter. I think also that Sinji, I think uh, he thought that there was maybe a key or something that's also possible. Oh, okay. Because the other, any of the other um, fruit around. Yeah, you could double tap that. B when you're when you're holding bell and throw key. And at that point, key also will kill, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I could definitely see that that might have been the thought process behind it. But nonetheless, Sinji seems to be getting And they haven't, like, really now. used it either, so it's a good panic option. Now we have game three, Pokemon Stadium 2. Yo, what's that turn called? Circle Eyes? Did you see which one I'm talking about? What? I said, what was that turn called? I don't actually know the other turn -ups. Oh, there's Dot Eyes, there's Winky Face, there's uh, Stitch, there's uh, Timmy. <laughs> The one with the big circles for eyes. The one with the big circles for eyes. Oomph, man. Oomph. Dot eyes. Let's Dot go. eyes back. Ooh. Oh, man. Look at all that percent. Damage, dude. I actually don't know if... Uh, if <laughs> I, I'm going to call him Stubbs Your Toe. Stubbs Your Toe. <laughs> that's, that's the face I make, at least. Yeah, that's in that, was, that was interesting. Um... He put Sinji in a position where he wanted to clear the, the uh, Hydrant by hitting the Hydrant early. Yo, that Nair coverage is actually mad good. Back air just barely missing the mark. You know, we're seeing a lot more turn-up pulls this game from Ling Ling. What the me. heck? I think he was maybe expecting Hydrant to get launched at him. I, I don't know. It could have also possibly been a missing play. <gasps> You know, when Every something time. weird happens when mid-range players are playing, you're like, that was a misinput. But then you're just like, all right, how far in the future is Ling Ling looking? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo, Val confirm we'll do it right now. I'm so tricky. Si Ling Ling was, really was tricky, expecting yeah. him to try and re-grab the bell, but no, instead... The Hydrant makes up what he's getting. I want to see something involving water in this bell. What happens if Peach uses down B when she has a uh, item in her? I actually don't know. What if Toad just throws the item at you? Just summons Toad like it's Luma. Yeah. Toad desyncs. Ling Ling's like, you know what? 
I'm gonna hold on to this. You don't need this guy. Yeah, and <laughs> this is the sort of thing when I know that Sinji has before said that he actually really likes it when people just hold on to his fruit because they don't know how to use it, and he does. You know, it basically just yeah. limits their options. <gasps> Yo, but Ling oh, Ling is a player. That oh. was so good into such a turnaround. But Ling Ling's a what? Uh, but Ling Ling is the type of player that clearly he knows what to do with the fruit. He has a lot of experience with item play himself and a lot of matchup experience against Pac-Man. So when he holds the bell, you know that there is a serious threat. This is a BO5, uh, Dara. Sinji right now, I don't I think he's just looking to get damage in some way. Wow, how did he not get hit by the Hydra? He knows exactly where Hydra yeah. goes. He's, nah, you heard, you heard it trade with uh, with Galaga. I know, it yeah. just went right over him. Oh. I'm liking this I was kind of expecting Apple with water there. And I do want to bring our attention to the clock. Three minutes on the clock. That's quite a bit of time, but we are still at two stocks apiece. And I don't necessarily think that a stock is going to be ending immediately anytime soon. As I say that, Sinji is at 142 at the ledge. Will he be able to clean out? That should be it. Yeah, Ling Ling now up an entire stock pretty much. I know it's only anyway has 73% on him, but like... In this matchup, between these two players and characters, that's basically a full stock lead. Sinji's starting to play a lot more aggressive, throwing out aerials, trying to chase down Ling Ling. He does have two minutes on the clock, but... Pretty soon, if he takes too much time, if he's too patient about it, then yeah, Ling Ling could just force the timer. Oh, actually, he misses his tech. And that's yeah. a down smash. Yeah. I mean, a minute 30 on the clock. Oh. 81%. 95. Oof. Yeah, the problem is, like, now if Sinji takes too long, much time picking his spots, Ling Ling is just going to go to timer. Yeah. I think Ling Ling has a comfortable enough lead to still fight at the moment, but not as it gets a little closer. <gasps> oh, that's big damage. No way. I thought he was going to possibly try and go for some yeah, go for side, the side B. B. Yeah. yeah. Side B would have been hype, but definitely not like the I'm trying to win mentality. I mean, if we had maybe 30 less seconds on the clock, I think it could have happened. But Sinji still has the chance to win this. We have less than a minute, and both of these guys are in the red. But as it stands, Ling Ling still has a percent advantage. <gasps> the last hit of dash attack, there's only about 17% separating them. Neutral land, this is actually getting closer and closer. Uh -huh. But the forward air, is that enough? He's it. living, but he's at 138.40% on the... Okay. Trying to, I think he's looking for another forward air. The That's not going to take it either. Yo, but this is literally 1%. 1%. <laughs> well, this is like the sort of percent lead where... Uh, <gasps> oh, that's it. Said, yeah. oh. No, it didn't work. But he has a percent lead. He has a percent lead. He can run away with it. Oh. And there it is. <laughs> oh, wow. And you see Sinji's him fist pump. Fist pump. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do you think Sinji likes timeouts? <laughs> Yeah, nah, I think I think both players like winning at whatever cost. No, I know I understand that, but I mean like, do you think he likes timeouts more than not timeouts? No. No, definitely not. Yeah. I don't think anyone takes personal satisfaction in timing somebody out unless they were like actually just hard camping and you're just like, whatever, I'm not gonna do this. Like, I will say, that's one of the greatest feelings. Oh, that's what Nelvin did to me. Like He's better than me. I didn't want to play neutral, so I T-Jolt spammed him on Kalos. So he's like, I'm going to chill on these platforms and see you when the clock ends. Yep. 
Oh my god. I also, just as a side, I love it when somebody's like, you know, really campy and like defensive. And then you get a percent lead, you just stop interacting with them, yep. you time them out, and then afterwards they complain that you were the camper yeah, and you yeah. timed them out. When you're the one, that, like, <laughs> I, I fully well knew that I forced Nelvin to play that way. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just saying sometimes yeah. people don't, and it, that to me that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Now, most people are not self-aware. I've learned this. <laughs> well, I've learned this by owning this store. <laughs> <laughs> people are not self-aware. All right. Anyway. Sinji managing to clutch that game out. He just needs one more game in order to reset the bracket. No, 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 bro. This is going game five. It's on play. Like, like I've, I've, I've gone over this. Sinji Ling Ling's max potential for game five. Uh, and by that, I mean game ten. No, no. Here's the thing. Their max potential for game 15. Oh, Lord. But we can't have game 15 because set one was only a four-game set. Uh -huh. So I think that that – I think we could seriously see – uh, at the very least, one of these two sets, if we do have two sets, only being a four-game set. I think there's serious chance of that. I think Sinji's feeling it, Mr. Krause. I mean, the funny thing about, like, Sinji's effective game plan is that feeling it isn't how normal people feel it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, normally when people feel like, oh my god, I just got like a crazy read off stage and I down aired them. Yeah. You know? Nah, like, nah, Sinji's game plan is, I have setups, you haven't seen them all, you're gonna get hit. Yeah. Oh, and this Galaga thing that you've seen a million times, you're still getting hit. I... I think he knew that the flap, that the Hydra was actually disappearing right there. Like, Sinji is always on top of this sort of thing. Oh, but he's off stage right now. <gasps> Bad. <laughs> Trampoline there. He was able to air dodge and not have to really worry about the lag. Taking this first stock is going to be huge. If Sinji manages to take the first stock, he could possibly run away with it. And Ling Ling, we've seen that. He is not scared to just, like, Wrap turnips and go. In fact, that playing that was working out really well for him in the beginning of game uh, game three, and he's kind of stopped doing it so much. I haven't I really seen him go crazy with the uh, turnip pulling. I think after losing the last game, he kind of wants to rein it in and play it slower. I think in general he plays slower, but I think against Pac-Man he tries to turn up the pace. Turn up the pace. What a tech! That was probably at the very limit of tech ability. Yeah. And the back air. Back air gonna take All right, let's see if Sinji can actually stay alive for more than a few seconds. He's trapped at the corner, goes for a dash attack. Actually not able to punish it. And now Sinji has his wall set up. That sent him nowhere. Oh my god. What move was that? <laughs> I think it was weak hit there. I think it was near one. Weak hit there sent him like four feet at 200. That's crazy. Anyway. Oh. Huh? Yo, Saturn? Mm, oh. Again. So you just like, get this thing off my stage. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't want anything to do Ooh. with it. Oh, oh, since he has it now. Ooh. I love the sound this of Saturn. This is stupid. I don't like the whole being able to Saturn it. So, so he has the, you got a shield and the shield breaker. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> honestly, Sinji, his, uh, okay, Saturn should be gone now. Oh, no, it's not! Yeah, see, if you were Ling Ling, you would have got bodied for that. You're like, yeah, Saturn's gone. Shield break. Look yeah. at him. Sinji wants nothing to do with the floor. The floor <laughs> is lava. <laughs> all right, all right, Saturn out of play. Dude, I really... Now, who did that Saturn actually benefit? <laughs> Definitely Sinji. I think it benefited Sinji because, uh, I mean, at the very least, when you look at the percentages, I don't even know when Ling Ling took 105, but I feel like he took a lot of percent while Scrambling trying to... not get hit. Yeah. I wanted to see something cool with, like, Saturn plus Bell into, like, a checkmate kind of thing. Like, Saturn, Bell plus Hydrant equals... I, here's the thing. I don't think Sinji is out here to get a clip. I think he's out here to win. Oh, of course. I mean, of course. Everyone would love to see that sort of thing happen because it's hype when it does. But, uh, I mean, look at the way he's playing. He doesn't have to go for any Hail Marys of any kind. Still feels com in a pretty comfortable position. 
No, that's the Mario you can back stuff. Back air before you hit the ground. Yeah, that's the Mario stuff, dude. When you aerial then aerial before yeah. you hit the ground. Aerial, aerial some more. Uh, dude, that hit? What the he Oh my god. I feel nice, like the down nice. smash never. Oh, he has to convert it off of it. I feel like the down smash from, from Ling, he's gone for it a few times, and I swear it looks like Sinji's landing in it, but it never hits. Down smash's hitbox is pretty uh, modest. He keeps doing that. It's mad good. Pulling the fruit and making it clash with the uh, with the hydrant flying at him. <gasps> wow, I, I don't even know how nobody got hit right there. This is slowly slipping from Ling. That was a really good check, knowing that the you would also beat out the bell. <laughs> <laughs> Double bounce into <laughs> into float. Mad good, mad good. Does he get back float if he lands on the trampoline? You think like like it doesn't reset the float timer? No, like because you can only float once when you're in the air. Oh, I think he actually. <gasps> oh, I don't think Sinji was actually expecting him to get hit by it. Oh, he wants it. Oh, oh. yep, yep, yep. Is that enough? Okay. Ling Ling at 90. Oh, there's 30 seconds on the clock. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, I don't know how uh, I don't know how Sinji loses this game. Uh, he doesn't. If it gets close, he runs away. Oh, but crazy off stage kill. <gasps> crazy off stage kill? Crazy offstage kill. No, there's 12 seconds on the clock. Yeah, I love this from Sinji. He just goes super oh, high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ling knows he has to make something happen, like, right now. That was so smart. <laughs> that's it. Yep. And there's the time. Dude, if that side be connected, that would have been wild. <laughs> did, you just, did you just have speech? <laughs> the BM? <laughs> oh, and that's set one. Well, only one timeout and yeah. only four games. Uh. Ling Ling mad, it's taking off his shirt. He didn't do it right. If he was more mad, he'd have ripped it through like the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Hulk flexes it out. You know? Just flexes so hard that the tight shirt just bursts. Uh, but yeah, we're getting a bit of a refresh over here. One set for one, one set for one. Now we're going to uh, be moving into the thing that decides it all, true finals. Yeah. And I know that this is something that Sinji, as I mentioned before, he lost to Ling last time. He said he came <laughs> up with a better game plan. Oh man, cool off. Yeah. Hydrate, kids. Just you know, you don't you don't even have to drink in order to hydrate. No, no, no. That's actually how he preps his uh, turnip RNG. <laughs> Turnips grow in high moisture areas, uh -huh. so uh, he's moistening. You missed my joke out. earlier, where I said turn up for what? This is where said, this is where Ling Ling turns up. I was like turn. <laughs> I, I apologize. <laughs> I, normally, I'm a, I'm better than that. Uh, I would have I would have punched I would have punched you in the face right then and there, as opposed to right now. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen I've seen Ling Ling go uh, Daisy a few times. I wonder like what procs that in his mind. Like what what is the activation? Gotta go Daisy. <laughs> My hair looks good this time. Didn't want to get good hair do this time. Gotta uh, go Daisy. I think there actually there is a slight difference where one of them has I believe Daisy has a It's Turner Blanche, right? No, that used to be the case. Now I think it has to do with like pixels of hurt box where Daisy is a little bit thicker, like wider, but shorter slightly by pixels. Listen, sometimes it's it's all down to, you know, what you're into, oh. man. So sometimes, sometimes you know, you, you might be a blonde guy most of the time, but then you're like, listen, it's late on a Thursday. I could go for a brunette. <laughs> Dude, sorry. So how, how Ling was floating off stage there, that's the stuff. When you have Bell, you can throw it at the underside of PS2, and it will hit the person in roll range. That's that's the Bell stuff, because how the Bell, like, bounces up when you throw it forward. Also, Bell goes through the stage, by the way. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, so Sinji started off this game pretty well, but I mean, it, it percent does matter a lot. But when we're on these earlier side stage of things, getting a kill is paramount. That's a I. Oh man, Dada looks so unassuming. 
Which he should be able to recover. <gasps> oh, but the perfect dare dodge. And I... What, 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 he missed the hydrant. Uh, the, the trampoline. He just missed it. That's an unfortunate oh, stock good. drop from Sinji, especially because right before he was playing so well, but now Ling Ling it seems to be in control. Yeah, his membership of Skyzone was, was out. Huh? Alright, here we go. I, I want to see... Uh, dude, the floating over the, the the fruit seems like it would be unsafe, but it, it hasn't... Oh, Apple going to take it, but yeah. Seems like it'd be unsafe, but he seems to not be getting punished for it, to be honest. Like, he's float above, like, multiple fruit. Well, I think it really depends on the fruit. Well, it's and Ling Ling seems or... to be paying attention to it, yeah. Well, there was that one time, I think, where Sinji actually threw out the melon, the melon specifically. Because yeah. that one lasts longer and actually forced Ling Ling to go further back where he did get punished. So, I think that melon might actually be, like, the low-key counter to floating. Yeah, if you think your opponent's going to float, force them to float forever so you can walk up aerial them. Yeah. Forty-five percent on Ling right now. Four twenty on the clock. Okay. Okay. The hydrant being put at the middle of the stage. That's huge. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, they killed so early. We haven't really seen a super early stock for Sinji for the most part, but. Right there, that was at 100 after the hit. And perhaps to see if he can actually run away with this lead. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> Just a sharking underneath him. Yeah, I love when you're not in range of the grab and the hydrant pushes you in range. Super satisfying. Now this is, game is probably not going to go to timeout. You have 2 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock and about 40% separating them. Since he does have a little bit of a lead here, but considering the fact that he's not going to be reliably killing at least at the moment, this isn't a surefire thing. No way! Oh, oh. that was so cool! I don't know why that didn't happen all the way! Oh. Yeah, I know, obviously, you know, once again... Oh! Oh. I was so smart! Once again, not going for clips, but would, could Side B have killed if he went out with it? Again, Why that's the that second happened? time that I've seen. I think that happens if you, because like it, Bell like stuns you and thing. then pops out. No, no, it's a positioning position? thing where they there's like because there's a uh, two hits of the up smash, right? One leads into the next, uh. and there's like a part of it where you hit the opponent and it just launches and just like you will get launched to the second hit of this. And yeah. It just goes way too far. That smash gonna take yeah. it. So Sinji, every time that happens where he misses the up smash, he wins the game. So it's like, you know, it's a little bit of one of those things where, like, as soon as you do it... It just makes him mad. He's just like, oh, I missed my... <laughs> the opponent's smash. like, I'm already dead. <laughs> <sighs> oh, actually, oh, speaking of water tasting good, here is one of those hills that I will die on. The best way to consume water is tap water. Yes. From the sink, yes. you cup your hand like this, Absolutely. and you funnel it in like a spring, 100%. like a babbling. Thank you. Everyone else is just like that's. I've had actually people say like that's weird to me. I've had people it, say that's gross. I'm just like, all right, all that's right. right. I'm just like it's trolling. 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 What? They're no, trolling or no, you're no, trolling? No, no. The people saying it's gross are trolling. They're not trolling. They genuinely believe that. They're the wrong, stupid people. <laughs> if you think it's gross, at me on Twitter and I'll. Uh, 
I don't know. What's the worst thing you can do to someone online? Uh, you can cancel them. Oh, I'm gonna cancel <laughs> you. All right. All right. Yeah, we got fair strings. He's got Bell on deck. He's trying to get this kill. Back air. Ooh. <laughs> I. You know, originally we were talking about how they were gonna be like two, you know, game five things. I do want to remind you that last week. Uh, it was not game 15. In fact, what happened was that after Ling reset Sinji, he 3-0. Yeah, him. he blew him up, yeah. He blew him up. And right now, this is kind of looking like blow up part two, yeah, electric dude. boogaloo. But, you know, roll reversal, S too. S S Sinji's here for revenge, dude. He's like, he's like, no, 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 no. I don't lose, bro. No, no, like, Sinji accepts that he loses. It's just that he doesn't lose the same, he doesn't lose the same way twice. Yeah. And after he loses, he at least wins once. <laughs> yeah, that was a good challenge. Like, whose hydrant is this? Uh, okay, actually, right as I was saying fair? that, this is a totally even game right now. Yep. Back air? Yep. Oh, Gonna take so it. Smart. Yeah, that second bounce is not big enough to just auto get you back to ledge. I mean, if he had done it lower or a different position, it might have auto snapped, but at the position he was, that was kind of what he was forced to do. That was actually a good call with Sinji. He just got there a little late. Yo, Apple. That's still, he's surviving. <laughs> What's the mix here? Oh, good <gasps> oh, tech, no. good tech. That was not a tech. He missed his tech. Did it? No, he tech. No, he missed his tech there. He could have died. Oh, no, he's at 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I actually, <laughs> I actually thought it was a tech because I thought he was at 100 plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 164 on Ling Ling right now. Yeah. Sinji looking to make a big play here. That was so smart. Down Recognized tilt, yeah. that he had to re-grab an outledge invincibility and forward tilt angle down actually was enough to get him there. It's a high jump, but the high jump is still in play on the other side of the stage. You know, we haven't really seen Link do uh, turn up pulls. Yeah. Even so, I, I guess part of that might be the stage. But I think I think he's been pulling turnips more when he has more like horizontal room, like you know, PS2 and stuff like that. Yeah. Or even FD, where he can just be at the other side of the stage. Well, no, no, because he's like. Sinji will be doing his things, and then he will try to make, close the gap. Before, it's like, okay, Sinji, you just do your thing. I'm just going to pull until I get something like a dot eyes or a winky face or a stitch. But now he's much more keen on engaging, despite the fact that he has a big lead here. The snipe. That's a good nair coverage after. I, I think nair coverage is good, but I don't... I would have assumed that Sinji was going to get up attack, to be honest. But that's not a whole lot of, like, nothing to be scared about. Oh, what a parry. You know, we don't really see these guys parrying each other's moves too much. Yeah, I feel like, like it's, probably, it's probably not worth it, to be honest, because, like, you're yeah. so far away from it, usually. It's like, and all I, right, I'm going to parry. Also, I've, as we just saw... Parrying Peach's aerials, you still couldn't punish. Back row not going to do it, but it's Apple? enough to get him off stage. Uh -huh. Instead, looking for the bell, possibly a bell setup. That bell's super scary when you're like trying to recover low. You get sniped. Apple's super scary. I think it's a really underrated fruit. I think it's it's like oh really, and, really and okay. Listen, if you play against like a good Pac-Man, you do not underrate Apple. Once Apple becomes like kill, like a, like a kill potential, it becomes so much harder to play against uh, Pac-Man because it's so fast and it comes down at this angle that normally you're totally safe with him being at. All right, There's no seven, way Sinji runs this back, right? Uh, there is a very feasible way you can run really? it. Really? He has Galaxian in hand. He gets a Galaxian combo, does 50 to 60 percent. He dies to back <laughs> 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 It's 1-1. One, one. We here. Okay, so, yeah, you're talking about the, the, uh, the sort of like the put your whole face under it, but I'm telling you, cup the hand under the faucet. 
Yeah, it's, it's the hand. I have, I have this whole pseudo-scientific theory as to oh, why. Oh, no, my theory is that cups taste gross. No, no, so here's my theory, right? As we evolved, you know, being cro oh, and friggin' God. idiots, uh -huh. what happens when you drink from a standing pool of water? You get dysentery and you die. <laughs> what happens when you drink from a babbling brook? Get like ringworm. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Point is that we are evolutionarily predisposed to enjoy the taste of moving, flowing water going down our gullet. So, uh... It's it's just science, man. That <laughs> if you drink from cups, you're just like your little your little Neanderthal brain is just like I'm drinking from a stool, like a still pool of mud, and I'm gonna die. That's how I feel every time I drink from a cup. So in your story time, <laughs> Leland got hit to ninety percent. Uh, you also have a stitch on face. Stitch face on deck. Also, this is exactly what happened in game two. And one. This is how the entire so set of stitch face. Oh, oh. unspawned. But, uh, yes. <laughs> How dare you call it story time? That was a fun fact science corner. He's dead. All right. do, you, do you think yeah. Sinji has stitch face uh, combos? What? Do you think Sinji has stitch combos? Like, not just regular tournament combos, but stitch combos? I know he has labbed out, like, other projectiles. Possibly. I would not be surprised in the least. <laughs> I, like... I would also not be surprised if when he gets a stitch, he wouldn't want to risk it, you know? Yeah. Like, if he gets a stitch and he gets a hit where a stitch can confirm into, like, a tiny thing, you know, or just get the stitch that does 33%, you take it, you're happy, you leave. Um, but maybe, maybe he hits him with a stitch and he gets into, like, Galaxian side B. <laughs> what if stitch plus full hop apple is a true combo at certain percent? Uh, I don't think so, because the percent at which Apple would kill are probably the percentage to which Stitch would knock him way too far away. I think at low percent, is probably the coolest thing he could do, maybe, would be, like, Stitch into Galaxian. Maybe that could combo. And then you're basically just, you know, doing a Galaxian combo. <gasps> yeah, see, that's, that's a double tap. That's why Bell's so scary. It's like, bro, I really think it's going to come slow and mid-range, and then you get chucked. Okay, Ling, Ling needs to end this right now. Like, the stock. I mean... <laughs> put the stock away. It's pretty... Even if he ends it, it's still pretty rough for him. He's at 164%. Uh, oh, oh, neat. Yeah. That trade, he's going to be surviving with 171%. The lightest of love taps. The gentlest, sweetest of apples will end him. And There's he is aware of nothing gentle about Pac-Man Apple. What? Nothing gentle about Pac-Man Apple. Uh, there are certain variants of it that feel a little gentle, you know? <laughs> yeah, the ones when where just, you're at 0%. When, just like <laughs> yeah. when he Z-drops it gently into your mouth. Uh, you know when they... The, 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 the grab special where you, you Z-drop the uh, apple and then you back throw them into it? Oh my god, I love it. There are so many cool things that Pac-Man can do. Also, just I, I love commentating Pac-Man because sometimes things just happen, yep. and you're just like, okay, let me try and deconstruct why the thing happened, because it's it, it seldom is easily explained away. Nice grabs the apple, and oh, that was so cute. That was mad smart. And and the hydrogen gave him like you know enough enough range to put him off stage with the back air. Yeah. Good quick air dodge by Ling. Yeah. As it stands though, this is still a really rough game play for Ling. Oh, the chances of him pulling this out are getting slimmer and slimmer. I don't know if that's gonna do it. Yeah. It does just barely. That's gonna two, be one. game three as a two stop. Now, do you think we're gonna have do you think double we're gonna game, have game four, five, or do you think we're gonna have three game fours? I honestly, based on the way things have been going, I think we're gonna have three game fours. <laughs> I think Sinji might take this next game. I feel like he has a lot of momentum on his side, not just the kind of momentum where like, oh yeah, not the ephemeral kind that you know can be taken out if the, you sweep the I road. know I'm winning this, so I'm gonna keep. It's more just the I figured it out. It's not I figured you out. It's I figured it out. If I figure you out, 
you can change. You are a mercurial thing that can adapt. But if I figure out the matchup in a very concrete way, then it's so much harder for the opponent to just turn it all around. Getting two stuck in that game there, that felt like quite a statement. But I think the opening for this game is going to be, it's going to speak a lot. Is that fucking man jab? A little like yeah. Yes. Let's just talk about down tilt. Your your sound and visual no, representation it's, it's, were pretty. It's where he turns into a little it's like a it's like a Oh when he goes like yeah. Hump. Yeah, it's Hump. A little that's, his down, that's his down tilt. That's down tilt. Ooh. Okay, this match much slower than the last few we've seen. Yo. <laughs> The bell was like, yeah, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> he has something there, short. <laughs> just spins out when he gets hit with water off stage. Neat. Anyway, finally, Sinji with some stage control here. Let's see what he's able to do with it. I love the idea of that, except the water pushed him away past Sinji. He was going to go for that uh, the tomahawk grab, but... Some pass interference involved. And now, Sinji only has about a 2% lead. That lead is gone, but really what it comes down to is who's going to get this kill. Sinji's off stage. It's going to be very hard for him. Ooh, what a beautiful out. trump. Yep. He didn't buffer a response. I think he definitely expected another back air. Yeah, or a neutral air. Yeah. Because that's what uh, that's what Leeming had been going for. He's dead! Oh, oh he's yeah. dead! Okay. <laughs> You're like, he's dead! Oh, wait, what? Something weird happened? Well, I would have been very surprised if Sinji... Because that's something that he has probably done to people thousands of times. What a parry! That was actually such a good parry. That would have broken his shirt yeah. otherwise, I think. Definitely got him out of a bad situation without having to guess. Ooh, alright, nice timing on me. Ling Ling's part. Turn it in hand. Oh! That's like the first down tilt I think he's ever gotten in this set. All these sets. Sinji so far has been playing around those classically really big hits that Peach can dish out. Back here. He's alive. That was good on him to buffer the response that time. That Trump was coming for sure. Trump back here. You know what I smell? Game five. I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Sinti is alive here. And, ooh, he can get some crazy early kills. He has Bell in hand. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, this is in no way a set thing for uh, for Ling Ling. And forward air now too stale to hit a uh, uh, knockoff hydrant in a single hit. Look at this. Um, I don't know. Uh, my yeah. my, right nostrils, said something, my right? nostrils are pretty clear right now, man. Right after I, I said something, of course, of course, it becomes a close game. Uh, yeah, except for when it, before I was saying, oh, this is only going to be four games. Oh yes, Bell. Oh, this is possibly really big. Oh, that was so smart. He went for that exact hitbox of the up yeah. smash that will send, send it backwards. Angle. Yeah. <gasps> that dash that, attack. That was a really smart way to Ling. Not like he purposely waited out the bell. He, he was not like gonna panic, hit a button because he like saw the first projectile being the hydrant. Oh, I don't think I think he wanted to possibly drop through, like past the hydrant and throw out that key. Ling needs to hold on to this and create a feasible lead. And oh, uh, it's also especially because if you're Pac-Man and you want to get the kill, oftentimes you have to set up for it, right? And setting up takes time. And as we can see on that timer, there's only about 2 minutes and 16 seconds left. That might feel like a while for you right now, but keep in mind that timeouts, they already... 
the timeout basically happens after a minute. Because after a minute, all of a sudden, who has the percent lead? Come, that's who wins, and the nature of the match completely changes. Okay, Sinji has already taken about 54%. That's the sort of thing that can really possibly hurt him. <gasps> okay, yeah, these now Ling Ling's starting to run away with this game. Couple big hits right there. The yeah. spacing just being right outside of that effective range. Yeah, it's and not going at time. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> that was actually so good. He stopped it just short. But, okay, going to the other side of the stage. Honestly, you can be doing a lot more of that if you want to. But now, 1 minute 22 seconds on the clock, and he is going to hang out on that angel platform. That almost killed that right. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe my nostrils, I, I think I might be smelling something uh -huh, too uh -huh, here. Uh -huh. Game five. Granted, I think... Oh, no. Yeah. All right. Yeah, game five between these two. Yeah, but you know what? And that was also Ling Ling's counterpick, so this is Sinji's counterpick now, so let's see where he takes it. That is true. Um... Could be FD again, to be I honest. think if he doesn't ban uh, Yoshi's, well, might be Yoshi's, or Battlefield. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, I think that, since he was telling me, he's a lot more comfortable with the Triplats in this matchup one. This is Sinji's counter pick. This is Sinji. He's been, he, he came back from losers, took so many games, and now we're into the game five, the final, final piece of this Tournament will come lie in place in just at, at the most about six minutes and 53 seconds. We'll know who the champion of Encore is. Sinji once again starting off pretty well, but that is by no indication him doing well in the game as a whole. Ling Ling has demonstrated quite a lot of clutch factor. And ooh, okay. But so far, not really getting touched. And even when he is, it's, you know, minuscule. He gets hit for 12 damage a pop. Against Peach, like, I really just, like, really let that sink in. Yeah, yeah Peach is gets... not getting any extensions on you. Like, he just got hit with down tilt, and all he got out for that's a regrab. Well, he ends up putting it into the ledge and gets about 50% in total. Yo, shout out. This music slaps. Okay, no jump. He's going to be floating, but... Okay, Sinji actually gives him space and instead opts to charge his fruit for a little bit. Kind of acknowledging that he probably wasn't going to be able to catch the landing there. <gasps> Man. Ling Ling going off stage. That's something I don't think we've really seen him do. Go for an early stock like that. Yeah, I mean, I think he needs to make something happen. Like, he's like... I don't necessarily think so. I think he can still play it pretty safe. Yeah, if it was. worked out for him, it would have been great, grand, you know? But I think that he's not backed into the corner yet. I mean, there's only about, what, 30% separating them? Five and a half minutes on the clock, they're still both at three stocks. I think that was sort of a, I haven't done this the entire three sets we've been playing. Yeah. Let me go for it now. I don't think it was a desperation. Uh, no, it actually happened. Uh, that's how he killed them literally game one. Oh, game one of what? He ran, uh, like, in, in, uh, what's it called? Sorry, winner's finals. Oh, possibly. He literally ran off fair, like, hella early, murdered him. Oh, my God, 45%. All right, thank you. Yeah, this is where things for Sinji Start to slow down, yep. Yeah, start to slow and I need to pick my spots. I need to kill. Oh, wow. That was such a that grab. Oh, Sinji air dodged and actually with the bell, it missed. That DI was a little sus, but yeah. at the same time, you know, he was at really high percent. Yeah. He didn't die particularly early. Granted, on a stage like Battlefield, surviving is, that's a big thing that can really swing the matchup. Oh, that apple bouncing! Yeah, him, really him knowing the bounce was happening was... I don't think something that Ling was prepared for. Yeah, we're 
same one, platform camping from Sinji, using it to charge up his projectiles. But for the most part, he hasn't gotten any huge things started himself. Oh, right as I say that, big damage possibly. I, not like you say possibly, but I actually like him choosing not to overextend there. That is also true. Especially because if Sinji doesn't overextend, that means he gets back stage control and already starts charging his next projectile. Yeah. It's investing. What a call out. That down air right above the Tyrant ends up catching Sinji. Oh, wow. The forward of the other way. There's only about 5% separating them. And this is a game that very, very feasibly could go to timeout. Three minutes on the clock, but it might be a while before we see the stock drop. Yes, they're both in the red, but look at how much they're respecting each other, trying to play patient. Sinji has the lead, though, so eventually Ling Ling has to do something. Oh, man, Sinji seeing that it was actually the, uh, I think that was the Dadai's Hydrant. Uh, the Dadai, so he knock the Hydrant out in one hit. That was interesting, the Nair. So that should be it! Oh, up smash, yes, yeah. up smash. This is it. This is end game right now. Sinji has a decent stock lead. If he can get some damage, it can... Really what it comes down to is whether Link can take the stock in the next, I'd say, 30 seconds. Without, of course, exposing himself to taking too much damage. Yeah. Oh, speaking of so much damage, yeah. 74 already. Oh, but he's off stage. Floating in place, and I think that's it. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. The counter lasted too long and actually put him at a non-recoverable height. Question mark?